Okay, in this video lecture, I am going to cover um, mutations, and the assignment will be the mutation D questions. So this is actually kind of a short lecture, sort of. I'm, I have posted additional videos that I need you to watch, one on Tay-Sachs disease when I get to it, and then um, another one on brain pop. So by definition, a mutation is any change in the DNA. And so remember, our DNA is made up of nucleotides, and there's four nucleotides, A, T, C, and G. And when one of those letters change, and there's a few different ways that mutations can be brought about. They can be brought about by um, radiation, chemicals you expose yourself to. Sometimes they're just random. Um, but when a letter changes, so like take a look at this panel here. Here's the normal, G, A, G, C, T, C. Well, all of a sudden, we, we get a flip here, G, T, G, C, A, C. So let's take a look what happens to the RNA. G, A, G, that's normal, and now it's G, U, G. So we're looking at this bottom one here, so now it's G, U, G. And then we use a codon wheel to figure out what protein amino acid is, is coded for. And GAG uh, codes for, you know, I think it's glutamine or something. And that's normal, so the protein functions normally. But in sickle cell, um, now we have an amino acid of valine instead of glutamine, and as a result, your, your red blood cells, instead of being nice donut-shaped, you know, carrying oxygen efficiently, now they are sickled cell. Um, let me get my marker here to show you what I mean by sickle cell. It's like a crescent moon, okay? So over here, they're donut-shaped, and then over here, that now they are crescent-shaped. And so do you really think it's going to be able to hold all the oxygen that it can if it's only like half the size of it? No. Uh, and as a result, you know, sick, people that have sickle cell, they have decreased health um, effects usually. So differences is what makes one organism different from another. Um, you know, when we look at our DNA sequences between us and different animals, they are different, okay, by different percentages. You know, like I, th I think I've read somewhere like mice and humans share like 60 to 70 percent of the same um, genes. Um, and so on and so forth. But those differences is what makes one organism different from another. So when a mutation occurs, three things can happen. Either it has no effect, because maybe it codes for the same amino acid. So in your monster um, mash activity that you did when you were creating your monsters, some of you got a string of amino acids where um, you it coded for the same amino acid in a row, like isoleucine, isoleucine, or um, glutamic acid, glutamic acid. And you noticed that the codon, that code for it, was different from each other. So there are multiple codons that code for the same amino acid. So if a mutation occurs where it codes for the same amino acid, then it has no effect because the protein is unchanged. The effect of the mutation is minor. Um, that means maybe the protein works, but it's just not quite as efficient. And it gets a little bit more technical, so when we get into biology and college biology, we'll talk about that minor thing or maybe the the affected mutation you know just changes eye color you know instead of brown eyes you have blue eyes so i mean that's not going to hurt you um, but it is a, a minor mutation and sometimes the effect of the mutation is great okay where it usually results in a genetic disorder so to give you an idea of what i mean by you know, how can a mutation affect a protein read the, just read the sentence here one day the cat ate the rat Notice how I have each word as three letters. I was trying to go for like codons in the DNA sequence. So imagine your DNA sequence, every three letters is, you know, coding for an amino acid for that protein. And, you know, that protein's supposed to work. Okay, it makes sense to the cell. But what if I have a mutation where A just completely disappears? And the code is read in three, right? So here's three letters, one, two, three. Here's three letters, one, two, three. Here's three letters. Okay, now is my sentence really gonna make sense? So let's take a look at it. One dech hek era herat. Well, that, that doesn't make sense, okay? So mutations, you know, this is gonna be a type of mutation where the effect is great, where the protein's not gonna be the protein that it's supposed to be. Um, there are different types of mutations, and I don't think I quiz you on that, or maybe it's coming up in a different, uh, lecture, but let's just say that our, our protein here is beast. Sometimes mutations occur where you substitute a letter out. 
So maybe in this next example, B becomes F. So that's called the substitution mutation. And now you have feast. Well, feast is different from beast. Sometimes you have mutations where letters get removed. So on my previous slide here, I removed the A and everything got shifted over. Uh, so now beast becomes best. Uh, sometimes we have letters that literally switch places. They, they flip. So instead of having beast, you end up with beats. Okay, so then um, what I did is I shared a brain pop video on genetic mutations, which you should watch because it talks about how these mutations can come about, but it also talks about how mutations can also be beneficial. And so if you just go to brain pop and find, type in genetic mutations, you might have to log in. Um, and that login is 803warriors for the username, 803warriors. Nope, you know what? I'm just gonna stop right there. I'll post the username and password in Google Classroom for you. Okay, final slide, mutations can cause genetic disorders, and this tends to be when it has great effect. Uh, so genetic disorders are conditions that result from mutations, and basically the cell is just not functioning normally. These genetic disorders can be inherited. You know, that means that they're in your genes. If there's a mutation in the egg and it fuses with the sperm, you know, you have that mutation, or it can be brought on by behavior. Um, and so examples of genetic mutations are diabetes, which can be brought on by inheritance. People are born with diabetes, or it can be brought on behavior. They choose their lifestyle choices. Cancer is the same way. You can inherit cancer, or you know, maybe you make some lifestyle choices. You expose yourself to radiation. You decide to you know, smoke. Smoking can cause cancer. Sickle cell, that's genetics. Uh, and Tay-Sachs disease, which is a video that I also posted in Google Classroom, so please watch it, but that is also inheritance. All right, so that does it for mutations.